It's another episode of Cool Guy Stuff with me, Mike, the cool guy. And today, we're gonna use old pallets to make custom flower beds. We just found free wood chips on Marketplace, so we're gonna go get it. Hey, load number two, and the pile's almost gone. Oh man, what a haul. So, along with all the wood chips, we've scooped up some pieces that we're gonna try to use around our fire pit, and we're gonna make something really cool out of that piece, possibly that piece. Stay tuned for that. Fight like no other every day. I won't stop like the others. Number two, almost empty. There it is, another big pile. Just gotta sweep out the back end of Chainsaw John over there so that we can uh, go pick up the next load of cool stuff on another episode. We need to make a few cuts, so we're using a table saw with a crosscut blade on it because we do not have the parts yet for our miter saw. But that will be coming up soon. Okay, so originally the thought for the sides was to build something kind of like this, right? And we'd have points cut on the ends, and we'd nail them into the ground to hold all the dirt and hold it in place, and then that would be kind of the side for our pieces over there. But we're kind of taking a new direction. We're thinking we're gonna use these pieces here, because we've got a bunch of them, and these are easy to get. They're a lot easier to get than big stuff. So we're gonna take a circular saw and zip these straight in half, and then just butt a bunch of them together. So half of this, half of that, take these two pieces, sandwich them together, make a wall. All right, so it's gonna be a heck of a lot quicker, easier. We'll see how it works out. We're gonna give it a shot. 
So part of doing this on the super cheap is all the pallets and things of course were free, but we're also trying to reclaim as much as we can with the screws and nails. So we've got a bunch of nails here that we can try to reuse, uh, and we're gonna get some screws out of some of these bigger pieces here that are screwed together and reuse those too. Got those ends screwed together now we're just going to clamp and screw all of these and we're just going to keep on going until we get over to that stake that's going to be our planter box approximately 30 feet Okay, so we're practically at the end now. Um, so now we're gonna end up putting the last piece on there. That's gonna look just like this. And originally our thought was to take pieces like this and stake them down on the outside because you can already see there's a curve in it and everything. As soon as we put dirt in here, it's gonna wanna push and bow this entire thing out. All right, it's not very structurally sound. Um, so that was originally our plan was to stake the outsides but I'm thinking now that perhaps just using uh, pallet boards and we'll just run single board across those on the bottom to tie it all together kind of like framing a wall you know you do like 16 on center kind of thing we could easily just do every other one of these um, and that would easily tie this together that's my thoughts so uh, we'll give that a shot we'll see how many boards we've got just hanging around there that are the right length and we'll go from there. This might be even easier to make because we can get a two by four and we can cut a whole bunch of these. So I'll, I'll get back at that, we'll see. All right, so here's how we're gonna finish this off. So I took a pallet, just one pallet, and removed the center brace out of it, and then cut it in half. So that's how I got those two pieces there. And then what we're gonna do is instead of, because now we don't have a end piece to butt up against this, I'm gonna cut out the edge of this, and then this is gonna sit on the outside, but it's gonna keep the measurement the same if I cut the right amount off of either side of that. So I just need to measure the thickness of this, set up our table saw and zip that off of there. Okay, three quarters of an inch. Perfect.
So guys, we're done with the build for today. It's starting to rain and I gotta put away tools. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.